Man, I couldn't believe that. That shows freak unwashable. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back. Where I'm the one, the only hobo Tom. It's time to go old school. Good old fashioned RC Cola. And the drink of every true New Jerseyan. Actually, I just need some sugar and caffeine to wake up. It's rained all day today. And I just had to get some sugars in my system. There we go. And my Young Buck shirt. Because, I don't know, the state of wrestling is really odd. For the most part, there's no indie, there's no independent scene. Which is weird. Impact's probably the best. But it only comes on like once a week and you can get spoilers for it. Should I watch that tomorrow? I don't know. I might catch Impact tomorrow. Now that I think about it. I just have to get to the gym early. That's a whole other issue. Tomorrow I'm doing stuff. Tomorrow I'm going fishing. Eventually, I will show you, put up a video about my fishing trips. My fishing trips are always cool. They're funny. I catch fish. So, I don't know. I'll figure something out. But yeah. Um, Impact's probably the best. Right now, NXT, I tried to watch it. And I only lasted a half an hour before I said, this is not good. Um, although it was funny, I think on Facebook, uh, Gigi Dolan has like a post of her and saying, my ass is the best thing on NXT. I hate to say it, Gigi Dolan's ass is the best thing on NXT. That's a whole other issue. And then I also realized they're not coming back to the Florida region until they come back to Tampa, which I guess is fine I mean NXT is not endearing itself to the Daytona Beach slash East Central Coast area at all and again that's a huge audience they're missing but I put the pox on them anyway Raw is just long I've always said that three hours is a long time to watch wrestling Smackdown's actually pretty good my thing with WWE is that they're doing a lot more promos. And it seems to be, and give me your opinion out there. They're doing more promo backstage stuff than they are actual in-ring stuff. Gotta remember back in the day, they could fit five matches in for like an hour. Macho Man comes up, 90 second promo. Honky Tonk Man, 90 second promo. Not very long. The Rock comes back to SmackDown. It takes up 20 minutes. So yeah. Although it is <coughs> very entertaining to see The Rock. <coughs> Today's been a weird day. Been humid again. It's been raining all day. I need some jump juice in my system. I swear there are fish in front of my driveway. And an alligator was chasing ducks on the street. That's not why I'm here. So before, I knew Japan is just on way too late. And I also realized that the last time I saw an indie show was like over a year ago. So yeah. That and just money stuff. So you know what? That's it. Let's end this nonsense. Hit my yeah. oh yeah and AEW's the opposite end where they have like 30 minute jobber matches so yeah but you know what more importantly let's talk about AEW Russell Dream I do have to find some image about that but yeah um so I have no idea what order, and right now I think there are, as of today, 10 o'clock, without me watching anything, 
One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine matches. So that's fairly decent. That's a fairly decent show. I don't need 15 matches to take like forever. Let's see here. Probably at the bottom we have the four way to see who is going to be the next challenger to FDR's tag team title belt. The Young Bucks versus the Guns versus the Lucha Brothers versus Orange Cassidy and the Hook. You know what? Guess who's going to win, folks? The Young Bucks. FTR and Orange Cat. Uh, no, what am I saying? Orange Cassidy and Hook. They're thrown together. Phoenix already has his belt. The Guns. Yeah, one of those are going to do the job. Young Bucks are going to win. I'm almost certain about that. Except for I have my next match, which is my stone cold lock of the night. It's Chris Statliner versus Julia Hart. Julia Hart. How do I say this nicely? Is very is very beautiful. Yes. She was the perfect ballet for the Varsity Blondes. She's a very good ballet for the House of Black. She gets into the ring against Chris Statlander. Who is a woman. Julia Hart looks like a little girl. Chris Tat they just put the belt on Chris Statlander. She's not losing anytime soon until maybe Sasha Banks come shows up. Chris Statlander wins my stone cold lock. She retains her belt. Then we have I'll tell you what, if it wasn't Eddie Kingston, this would be an amazing match. And knowing the medical history this would have been an amazing match. But we have Eddie Kingston versus Katsuyo Shibata. And I know you screwed up that name. I don't know. I'm so torn. I can't see Shibata losing. Shibata rarely lost in New Japan. When he did lose, it was to people like Okada and Suzuki. So yeah, you know what? I have Shibata winning. I don't know which belt he's going to get. Then we have the FTW Championship. Christian Cage versus Darby Allen. Darby Allen's going to finally get that belt. Yeah, that's going to be good. Unfortunately, in a nap, I'm probably in a match. In a nap, I'm going to match through. In a match, I am going to nap through. We have Chris Jericho and the Golden Elite, which is, or the Golden Lovers actually, Kenny Omega and, what's his face? Crap. The Golden Lovers and Chris Jericho taking on the Don Callis family, which consists of Takeshka, Jeremy Guevara, and someone else. I forget who now. I just have them as the Don Callis family. You know what? There's going to be some shenanigans. The Don Callis family is going to win. But again, I won't see that. I'll probably be on the couch sobering up. Who knows? Then we have MJF. And, and wait. My bonus. Roderick Strong. Taking on the righteous because Adam Cole, baby, boom, is legitimately injured. Um, yeah, MJF and Roderick Strong are gonna win. The righteous are oh, the righteous are pretty good. Why do I think they hold the three man the the six man tag belts? In Ring of Honor. Oh, they did. So, yeah, that's my little bonus. We'll see Roderick Strong back. MJF and Roderick Strong are going to win. That's going to cause more friction. Just keep this going forever. 
MJF is literally one of the best things in AEW besides Max Caster's dropping ability and FTR's drop and FTR's wrestling ability. So then we have FTR versus Aussie Open. Yeah, this is a no-brainer. FTR wins. I almost made that my Stone Cold lock. Hangman Adam Page takes on Swerve Strickland. Why? Like, I don't understand. Hangman Adam Page wins. He's one of the original guys there. I'm trying to think, did I see him? I think I actually saw him once. When AEW was new. Yeah, I did see Hangman Adam Page. I saw Cody Rhodes, Awesome Kong, the Young Bucks in a distance. Yeah, I think it was Hangman Adam Page. I don't have his picture. I have Awesome Kong's picture. I'll... She's just amazing. And then in the and then in the main event and my match of the night. You have the American Dragon Brian Danielson versus Zack Saber Jr. Oh. Only because it's Brian Danielson. Will I say that Brian Danielson's gonna win? Zack Saber Jr. is darn good, but he has a long way to go still. He's still he's 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 still young. Brian Danielson needs all the wins he can chalk up before he eventually retires. He's getting older. And you know what? Age happens. I don't know. I can't tell if I'm Squared up because I know this shoulder. I think it's arthritis is beginning to set in on me, which is never good. God knows the next thing for that shoulder replacement surgery, which is not something I would ever look forward to. Yeah, Brian Nielsen's getting old. Eventually, he's going to retire. He wants to have that win under Zack Saber Jr. So yep, Brian Nielsen wins, and that's AEW. Russell Dream! Um, again, I know I have to make Meow Meow Fuzz and the Reverend Wells in the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League. You'll see them probably Thanksgiving. Because a little bit. Again, I'm not watching Saturdays. I don't know. I might watch. Nah, I'm just going to watch it. I don't know. I don't. I don't necessarily feel like watching it, though. I might watch it. I'm not going to do a review on it. I don't care about NXT anymore. If it's really bad, I can always just leave it. It's free anyway. On illegal streaming services. So, yeah. Um, I might watch... I might watch the NXT pay-per-view. No mercy. I don't even know who's wrestling on it. I don't, I don't really care. Because I put the kibosh... NXT because NXT is not the NXT it used to be. I can't take a picture of Gigi at Dolan's ass after she said her ass is the best thing on NXT. They don't deserve me. Oh, you, 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 you didn't hear that. But yeah. Um, then I think the next week, next Sunday, is the WWE Fast Lane. And then that's it. All these are at the beginning of the month. Impact's not until November. Uh, uh, the Havoc of Halloween, which is the DL Dio Di Macho Day at the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. And then, unless something pops up, I have no idea. NXT, um, NXT is squashed. WWE is not coming back to Daytona Beach for a while. If, if ever. Yeah, let's get real. Daytona Beach was never a, a, a destination for WWE. So yeah, let's see what happens there. I might put up a fishing video. Just say, hey, this is what Hobo Tom does on, on his day off. <laughs> on his sabbatical from work. Yeah, although... 
I do feel positive about this week. I had a job interview last week. Only a few other candidates. All they have to do is say no, and if they can read my illegible scribble of a phone number, I'm good to go. Might, might, <coughs> might have the races from Homestead. Have to figure that out. That's not for a while, though. So yeah, I'll figure out some videos to keep keep you guys posted about stuff. Other than that, to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> and hopefully my voice gets